We now turn our focus to the latest drama unfolding in an ugly succession battle at one of Korea's biggest business groups, Lotte. The power plays continue as the founder's two sons jockey for control. The, ca the key family members, rather, have gathered to attend a memorial ride for the founder's father. And speculation mounts that the family will meet to address the internal feud. Our Kim Min-ji has this report. Key family members of Lotte Group are in Seoul to attend a memorial service for the father of the group's 92-year-old founder, Shin Gyak Ho. Conspicuous by his absence is younger son Shin Dong Bin, who was currently in Japan while his mother arrived on Thursday. With the gathering of key relatives, there is speculation that the family will convene to discuss the ongoing feud. The absence of the younger son, however, is leading to speculation that family members may unite against the younger Shin. This comes amid an ugly battle as the founder's two sons are engaged in a power struggle for the throne. Just days after a failed attempt to remove his younger brother from Lotte Holdings, the group's de facto holding company based in Japan, the elder son Shin Dongju on Thursday unveiled a document signed by his father, ordering the termination of his younger brother and several other board members. He claimed that another document showed that he was reappointed as the head of the holding company. In January, the elder Shin was stripped of his titles of three Lotte affiliates. However, the younger Shin, who heads Lotte Group based in Seoul and was appointed as the head of Lotte Holdings earlier this month, claimed that it was invalid due to failure to complete required processes and also cited his father's poor judgment due to old age. On Tuesday, the younger son also fired his father as chief executive and general chairman, demoting him to the position of honorary president and putting himself at the helm of the retail giant. It remains to be seen who will gain the upper hand in this ongoing dispute. The matter will be voted at a future shareholder meeting, although a date has yet to be confirmed. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.